Thank you, Tori. New at 6, the cleanup from a deadly fire in the heart of Schenectady continues tonight, nearly three months after that fire happened. Brendan Lewis is live on J Street across from City Hall tonight. Brendan, the demolition process didn't take too long. What's happening right now? You know, that process didn't take too long, but crews had to remove all that debris and then deal with a host of issues underground. Now, behind this green screen here is a mostly filled lot that they're planning to fill in here. But if you go further down J Street, there are all these vacant businesses over here owned by business owners that are anxious to return. Process. Believe me, it's a process. This is one of two buildings on J Street owned by Ashwalk Amir Puri. Three restaurants, tenants of Mirpuri, sit vacant since a fire tore through two neighboring apartment buildings. They call me every day. Every day they bring me. I say, well, there's a story here. The story started March 6th when a fire started in 104 J Street. It killed four people and left dozens of families homeless. Since then, the city demolished what was left of the structures. After intense work, it hopes to put the finishing touches on the sidewalk and pavement next week. Once we do the paving, it will be done. Happily, it will be done. And then it's just settling. You know, we, we've, uh, we've had to front the money for the, for the demos. Hopefully, we can require, uh, recover some or all of it. The city says it's speaking with the owners of 104 J Street. Meanwhile, Mirpuri is still working with his insurance company and National Grid to repair his two buildings. It's back and forth, back and forth. Now, you know, now I don't know what else to do, but it, it'll happen, hopefully as soon as possible, because I don't want to lose any of the tenants. Persian Bite decided to move elsewhere, but the other two restaurants plan to rebuild. It's been nearly three months of waiting for an estimated one-month repair job. It's really frustrating, but I, I, can, I cannot just give up. i got to keep going. I have faith. And one business owner told me she's missing out on some of the busiest months of the year, but she's hoping that insurance settlement will come through soon and she can rebuild within the coming months. For Live in Schenectady, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.